Hello friends and welcome back to the horror section. This is going to be a pickups video just showing a few things I picked up recently. Starting off with John Woo's Hard Bold. And uh, this is the 2 disc Ultimate Edition. And I can't remember if I've watched this or not. If, it, if I have, it's been a pretty good while. I think it pretty much tells the story of a cop that his... Uh, his partner got killed by some gun smugglers and he partners up with another uh, person and they're going to take down all the gun smugglers in a great action-y form, you know. But uh, it says here, the action sequences are among the greatest ever filmed, so that's got to be pretty good. So, uh, like I said, I think I've watched it, but I can't really remember. More, more exciting than a dozen's diehards. And I like Die Hard pretty good, so this one must be pretty good. And of course, this is the uh, special features there because it's a two disc, so it's got quite a few, uh, quite a few uh, features there. So that's pretty cool. So that's uh, John Woo's Hard Bold. Next up, I picked up the Diary of Ellen Rimbauer. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And this is like the prequel to Rose Red. Which I've seen Rose Red, but I don't know if I've watched this or not. And this is an old Lions case. You can see the little line there. Those are when they were actually kind of good. Which Lions case does put out a lot of uh, good stuff now, but they put a lot of just I don't know, just not very you know, not real real good stuff sometimes. Back in the back in the early days, though, they put a lot of horror movies out, and most of the stuff was really good. If you seen Lions Gate on there, now they've got kind of bigger, so they have a lot of. Uh, I guess lower budget movies on there. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. But back in the day, they were actually put out a lot of good, uh, good horror movies. So this one's probably pretty good because this one's kind of old. If I, if I'm thinking right, it's been a pretty good while since this one came out. And it's actually still sealed. Somebody tried to get in it right there, but they didn't <laughs> make it. It's even still got the Walmart thing on it. That's pretty cool. And I actually got this at a pawn shop, so. That's kind of cool that it's still inside the thing. They just kind of opened it right there. They never made it all the way in. I guess they didn't want to try. <laughs> so that's the di the diary of Ellen Rimbauer. And here's Dead Souls. I guess this was on the Chiller channel. And this is actually a Scream Factory. So that's kind of cool. So anytime I find a Scream Factory, I kind of pick it up. Because you never know. Most of them are pretty pretty good. I remember watching this one. I don't remember. I don't think it was the greatest movie I've ever watched, but it was pretty. I think it was pretty decent. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't like it was terrible, but it's been so long. I can't really remember. It's got a cool kind of cover there to it. It's pretty neat. Don't go home, dead souls. Might be a pretty interesting movie right here. I picked up this one, Underworld. It's not the, uh, it's not the movie you're thinking of. This looks like a kind of like a maybe just like a TV show or just a set of horror movies. It's got six spine tingling tales. I'm not really for sure on this. I've actually seen this a couple times, and I finally picked it up or whatever. I thought it would be kind of cool. So I'm not really for sure about this one. If anybody has any ideas, you know, please leave it down there in the comments. It looks like it would probably be pretty cool. I've just never really heard of it. I don't know if it's like a TV show. Or it's like, uh, let's see here. I guess it's an anthology, a J-horror anthology underworld. Six episodes of horror. So it might be pretty good. I've just never heard of it before. It looks pretty interesting. And I, like I said, I picked this up at a pawn shop, so I wasn't going to pass it up. It's kind of cool. So that's Underworld with the uh, six tails on the back here. There's a uh, chain mail, left behind the mountain, tattoo, a uh, viewfinder's memory, a uh, guardian angel, and mortuary. So might be pretty good. I'll be interested in watching this. And I got a uh, Masters of Horror from Don. I never can uh, Castarelli, maybe. I never can say his name right. I believe it's Ca uh, Co Castarelli. I'm probably saying that right. I apologize, but 
This is one that I actually really like. And of course, it's an anchor bay, one of those cool anchor bays I always collect. And this is one of those little short, maybe hour long, kind of made for TV movies. And I actually like this one pretty good that I can remember. It's like this, uh, it's like this scary uh, guy right here. This wor this girl kind of gets dropped off on on this edge on the end of the road here, and uh, she goes up against this scary guy. But she's been trained by her boyfriend or whatever. I don't want to give too much away. So she's got pretty good fighting skills and stuff. So she can kind of fight for herself. But uh, it's a pretty fun little movie, and it's got uh, Ethan Embry. And Angus, the tall man, scrum or scrim. So it's got some pretty good stuff. And of course, you know, the director here, he done Phantasm. So that's why he's got Angus in here. So that's kind of cool. But like I said, I really enjoyed this movie right here. It's pretty fun. This was one of my favorite uh, masters of horror. I just enjoyed this one real good. So that's pretty cool. It, um, it's, oh, I didn't even say that. It's Incident On and Off a Mountain Road. I didn't even say the name of it. But uh, this was one of my favorite ones. I like it pretty good. And plus, it's an anchor bay, so you can't go wrong. So that's pretty cool. And I got the slip cover and stuff. So can't, can't go wrong there. And then I got them. And uh, I remember this movie. I just don't remember that much about it. I remember it was pretty good. It's pretty like it's pretty much like this couple move into this house, or they're in this house, and they don't know anything about it. But when night comes, there's them attacks, and it's like, what do they want? What does them want? What you know? What will they do? And the answers are kind of, uh, you know, a good horror movie, I guess, is the answer to this one. <laughs> But like I said, I remember this was a really good one. But like I said, it's I think it was like 2005 or 6. So it's been a pretty good while since I've seen it. It's kind of cool picking up these older movies like this. I think it says 2005 and then 2007 down there. So somewhere in there. But uh looks like it. I, if I remember right, it was a real good movie. I just can't remember that much about it. I just hate picking up these older. It's fun picking up these movies. But a lot of times, like I said, if I... Haven't seen them in a long time. It's hard to tell you really how good they were. But I remember I kind of liked this one pretty good. Them. This had like a... Uh, kind of like a cult kind of movie almost. You know, it had a... This one was one of them you kind of watched. And not a lot of people knew about it. But it was a pretty good movie. You know, it had a good cult following, I bet. The film that terrified Europe has come to America. So that's pretty cool. Them. Next up, I found a two-disc special edition of Dead Snow, uh, one of the be one of the twenty-five best zombie movies of all time. So, this one pretty much tells the story of some kids, some medical students, and they wanted to, to go skiing and stuff, and you know, kind of party, have fun. But then they discover that there's people making Nazi zombies to <laughs> to attack the world or whatever. It's pretty crazy. It's a pretty odd movie. It's just kind of fun, you know, kind of oddball splatter fest, fest as it has. It says here, it's pretty enjoyable. I like it. It's kind of it's kind of oddball and silly, but fun. A real scream destined to become a cult classic. Like I said, it's just a uh, crazy kind of movie, kind of a fun little movie to watch. But this is Dead Snow, the two disc special edition. So I thought that was pretty cool getting the two disc set. And last but not least, I don't really know what these were. I just grabbed them because it was kind of cool. China Beach Season 1 and 2. I think it was like a medical, kind of like MASH maybe. I don't know. It was TV, work of a TV art, a masterpiece. I don't, China Beach. I don't really know. It's like a, uh, kind of like a, I guess MASH, but in China, you know, they just, uh, army medical people and they just uh trying to save lives and stuff but then it's kind of like a just a good tv show i remember my uh i think my mother used to like this show there was somebody i knew that really enjoyed this i just don't remember that much about it 
but it's probably i mean it's probably a pretty good little drama but i don't really know i just picked them up because it was kind of cool seeing them they were only like a dollar a piece i thought that was pretty good but uh i just can't remember that much about them like i said if you've seen these or whatever and you can remember uh you enjoyed them please leave it down there in the comments i've just never uh i don't think i've ever seen an episode of them that i can remember Pretty much, I think it's just a show about army uh, medical people. So, like I said, it might be pretty good. But I've just never seen it. It looks kind of interesting. I couldn't pass up both of these for a dollar a piece. I mean, you get two seasons, so that's kind of cool. But uh, that'll be it for my pickups video. Just showing, like I said, showing a few things I picked up. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next video. Well, have a good one. See you.